Judy, the acting chief of U.S. Capitol Police, was asked to explain why razor wire, the National Guard, and other heavy security are still in place. And she told members of Congress that it's because militia groups plan to blow up the Capitol during President Biden's State of the Union speech. This unsettling news tonight as the I-team has learned that many more January 6th suspects are still on the loose than have been arrested. Even though 250 people have been arrested for what happened here on January 6th, this FBI gallery tonight reveals that at least that many are not only wanted, but unidentified. Federal agents hoping they will be recognized and arrested before President Biden's State of the Union address here at the Capitol. We know that members of the militia groups that were present on January 6th have stated their desires that they want to blow up the Capitol and kill as many members as possible uh, with a direct nexus to the State of the Union. That chilling threat from militia groups to blow up the Capitol is now on the table, even as those who may be involved in the new plot are still unidentified. And at least several hundred suspects from January 6th are unaccounted for. It was literally under uh, insurrection. The very ideals um, uh, were coming under fire. Some of the most wanted individuals are depicted wearing tactical outfits, including body armor and shields. Others are adorned in Trump paraphernalia. A few are pictured with makeshift weaponry clashing with police. The 250 who have been arrested have come from across the country, according to the program on extremism at George Washington University, where researchers have been tracking capital attack cases. Those charged from 40 states and D.C including at least five from Illinois, 215 men and 35 women, according to the Extremism Project, average age 39. Authorities trace many of the alleged capital attackers through photos and videos posted online, and social media is cited as evidence in most of the federal cases. As for that State of the Union, most new presidents don't do that at the beginning of their first term, but President Biden is said to be considering one for some time later this year. Alan? All right. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.